So boo hoo. No videos for almost three weeks. Well I got a life and sometimes it's hard, it's tough and it's boring. So let me explain what's been going on. Well January, February and March were very snowy out here in the middle of nowhere. This Lucan area that my farm is in got a total of 10 feet of snow over the winter of 2010-2011 and it didn't start melting to the middle of March. So during the winter time I had nothing to do. I'm, I'm retired you know and so did a lot of watching free internet movies on icefilms.info and stuff like that and snowmobiling and partying on the weekends at the farm. So nothing interesting to make videos about so I didn't make any videos. Then in the middle of March 2011 I decided to start upgrading my building. You know it's 11 years old now. So upgraded the electrical, upgraded some structural stuff, painted all my welds which I didn't paint 11 years ago when I made the building on all those steel beams. Yep, lots of steel beams. So from the middle of March when the weather started to get above Celsius, or above zero Celsius, the snow started to melt. It was good enough I could work in an unheated building. Well, at least part of it's heated. The party area. I started doing that work. Uh, good thing because I couldn't do anything else. It almost snowed and rained every day and was cold and windy for two months. So from the middle of March to the middle of May, even though the weather was still crappy, I did all that work. Well, because it was the snowiest winter in 40 years, I had to plow the driveway so many times last winter with my trusty bulldozer and that thing does a lot of damage so so much gravel just got pushed onto the grass the blade would dig in and cut divots and the biggest problem was we got three feet of snow in a couple of days and the ground was still soft so the dozer was cutting through that snow and just cutting up the gravel like it was butter so after I was done all that laborious building work I had to get the rake and rake all my A gravel and put it back on the driveway and take my tractor and spread it all down and try to fix it all up. Then it was just outdoor property maintenance. All the trees that fell down during the winter time, all the stuff that floated around in the beach area because it got flooded, cutting the grass, just trimming branches, just stuff like that. So nothing that's not worth making videos about. So finally I sort of got caught up enough and just all that laborious work that I built a project. So as everybody knows I built the super tanker and it's been the most useful vehicle we've ever ma I've ever made at the farm and actually the most used. The women just love all the thrill rides we do going up and down all the crazy hills and through the forest. So it's actually been a pussy magnet car. It's awesome. Well lo and behold I discovered after I made that tanker and it sits higher than a regular vehicle my five kilometers of trails that are way back there in the back 40 weren't trimmed high enough the way the branches had overgrown so they were all hitting you in the face and all these were thorn trees so that sucked so I spent two weeks just trimming branches on the vertical walls of the trails and overhead just to be able to drive that machine through all that off-road terrain and not get the, your, the shit ripped out of your face and your body and poked in the eye or anything like that that was hard laborious work in over 30 degree weather every day holding a 20 pound chainsaw over my head. Well then because I spent the last four years mostly doing YouTube stuff and making all that money I let a lot of things just slide. Well we spent so much time and fun in the forest driving on all those trails I was just talking about that all the 4x4s and vehicles and all the rainy weather we had caused huge ruts and big divots full of water in the forest and people were wiping out on bikes all the time getting caught in those ruts and bottoming out the cars and ruining the oil pans on the poor suckers so I had to go rock picking I call it rock duty I'll show you what I mean I get my tractor and I hand pick and fill the bucket full of rocks small rocks and medium rocks about the size of your hand I also use my Dodge truck for that purpose so since I have an abandoned gravel pit, there's an abundance of rocks and death houses or whatever. You see what I mean? Well, it's very much of a pain of the ass in the hot sun, but I'm going to park right up close to that 
As you can see, I've been poking around in there. And I gotta hand pick all the rocks of the right size that I need. Little rocks for little holes and ruts in the forest, and bigger ones, sometimes up to the size of my head, for bigger ruts and holes. So, in the bigger ruts, you first throw the big rocks in, then you throw the little rocks on top. Well, it's been almost two weeks now doing this, with a little bit of help from some of the people that hang out up here. And we've picked about 20 tons of rocks, all just by hand, throwing them in the bucket or in the back of the truck, and I'll show you where they went. Well, there's a hole I haven't filled yet, but there's a few in there. There's one I started filling. Well, there's a good example. A couple big ruts. I'll show you what I do to them next. Oh, well, there's another one. Well, now you see a bit of gravel. Well, after they're all full of rocks, I stop and put some gravel on them. That packs them down real nice. If you just use gravel and it gets wet, you drive over it, it gets pushed out like soup. So it's like a two-step process. Well, three steps. Throw the rocks in of various sizes and then drive over to the tractor and pack them down. Then put the gravel on, then let the rain pack them down some more. Needless to say, after having the wettest spring on record, cool spring temperatures, the bugs were horrific. I got so many mosquito bites and deer fly bites, but my trails do look beautiful now. And I found lots of piles of strawberries and raspberries growing, so I always had a snack to eat. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Right after I got done fixing my driveway, well, finally the weather was warm enough outside and I decided to scrap all the cars that were dead soldiers. They weren't good enough to use anymore. They all had bad engines, bad transmissions, completely busted frames, collapsed. You know, they just weren't suitable for any purpose other than scrap metal. And even the ones that died last year, I saved them to the spring because in the spring they're worth twice as much as they are in the fall. So now this year, including what the ones I'm getting, getting, getting ready to get rid of today. Getting rid of 21 cars this year, only because I wanted to. I don't collect scrap cars. I just keep movie props that are working. So don't get too excited. There's still lots of fun out here. And we sure have been having fun. That's for sure. The weekends have been wilder than ever. All that bad publicity was good publicity. It just made me more popular. <laughs> so what? I don't care if I'm not making any money anymore. It just means I have to pay a whole lot less child support. And I hope the woman who caused me to make all that less money enjoys getting a whole lot less child support. <laughs> Keep watching. All is good at Dave's farm. and Lots of hard work, but lots of having fun. See you later. Home sweet home. See you later, folks.